Hey, what's up everyone? Today we'll be going through a E36 cooling system. What's the problem? These cars overheat. And why is that? Well, in first place, BMW is a German automaker. So these cars are built and designed for cold weathers from Europe. But if you're facing high temperatures, pushing your car a little too hard or in a hot environment, the car can get too hot, a radiator can crack, or even the hoses can get a little bit too dry and features with leaks, or even get a blown hose or something like that. And E36s more specifically have a pusher fan right here on the front of the car. So this restricts the airflow. On top of that, the fan has two speeds, medium and high speed. Kind of different because ideally, again, if you are talking about a hot place or hot environment, you would want this fan to be kicking at high speeds at all time. These two things combined will result in the issues you may be having with your car. A fan in the front of the radiator, which will restrict the airflow entering from the front of the car when you are driving, and also the true speeds of the fan when it kicks in. Uh, I'm halfway through already, actually, but I wanted to show you, for example, in this application, which is also and E36, the pusher fan has been deleted. See how much more clearance you have here, how much more space you have here now for the air to flow through when you are driving. And it has been moved to the back, so it's now a puller fan. So the air comes here, the fan kicks in and helps the air to flow from here to there. On top of not obstructing the front anymore, it is also helping pull the air in the direction it is already flowing. Now, regarding the speed of the fan mentioned earlier, it is regulated by this water temperature sensor here on the radiator. That's why it has three pins. It is used with this connector, which has three wires. Brown for ground and the other two wires for medium and high speed res respectively, which is also how the connector for the radiator fan is wired. As you can see, we also have the brown wire right here, which is ground, and the two wires for medium and high speed respectively. The medium speed is the smaller one, the black, and the higher speed is the blue one, which is a thicker also to hold more power, more voltage, and see, it's connected to the fan right here in front of the car. So, ideally, what I want you to do is to bypass the medium speed. With the three wires, you want to get medium and high speeds all together in the ground and here it is as I mentioned earlier you just get power from the positive right here add a fuse so you don't fry anything this is important especially on radiator and cooling systems and hot temperatures you modify the sensor as I mentioned and you'll be left with two wires which you will then connect to the fan and the ground which is the brown one and you're just gonna ground that in the car and you're good to go so that's what you're gonna do on the other one as well Fast forward, that's how it looks like. I just didn't finish closing it yet, so I could show it to you all in detail. Power unit, right here. Fuse, right there. 12 volts positive, comes here, out of the way. Red wire, to the sensor, which is now a switch. So power comes to here, power leaves from here, out of the way. Through the radiator, fan harness, which had those three wires. Blue, high speed fan, brown, ground, which comes here all the way. The black wire that used to be medium speed is not part of the system anymore, it's turned it off. Only high speed, whenever signal you get from the sensor slash switch slash thermostat. Here's how it looks like. Let me, sorry if it's sideways, but you get the secret too, here. And then we're gonna test it. But whenever the sensor activates, fan on. So this uses to be the medium speed while the fan is high. Let's suppose it will turn high. High speed. Whenever it would send medium speed or high speed through the wires, now it will turn the high speed on the fan. Wrapping up like this. 
Over there. By the way, here. Over there. Just turn the car on, wait for it to heat, and see if the fan kicks in. This sound is not the fan, it is the engine fan. So wait for this moment to start spinning. And that's it. I hope it helps. I try to keep the video as short as possible and as informative as possible as well. For more details and information in the description. And thanks for watching.